This village was once under the wing and watchful eye of the Condor. But we let the Eagle chase her away. I'm not sure I understand. Ah, neither do I. We lost ourselves in our pursuit of things. Thought we'd be happier with coins in our pockets. But the Eagle took that away as well. Someone has barricaded the path. Bridges out. This room has fared better than the rest of the cavern, it seems. husband or my daughter I don't think so where did you last see them they spend their nights with the stars sparkling and waving at me but in the morning they travel to the river oh I usually see them shining there but the storm muddled the waters I know they're down there I know they are Bet you've never seen anything like this, huh? This is my last one. Sold the rest to that commander fella. He was a little intense, but hey, he bought all my stock, didn't he? Well, except this one. Runs smooth, never breaks down. It's a real beaut, isn't it? Uh, well... No, I'm serious. My wife here, she hasn't been the same since the accident. But the gentle hum helps her relax. I'm glad. There used to be a temple on the island over there, but all that's left is a couple crumbled walls. And one stone pillar, it looks like. That's more a statue than a pillar. Real intricate work. A college professor came out to study it a few years ago. Did he tell you what he learned? He said it didn't make any sense. Was pretty angry about it, too. Said we tried to trick him or something. Hello? Aha, uh -huh. greetings. Uh, have you heard? It's so terrible. Sumac was killed by his own servant. How do you know Sumac? Everyone knows Sumac. He was my mentor and business partner. He, he made my business possible. Trade in the upper district without the right contacts, is, it's impossible. Sumac did all that for me and more. I'll find out what happened to him. Thank you, Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, 
Apologies, Ahau, but you may not enter. The crowd is violent. If I move, they may rush in. Perhaps I can find a way to distract them. A wise strategy, Ahau. Have you not been informed of the death of Sumac? Indeed, Ahau. He was a great man. He was. Now sound the call of mourning to usher him to the afterlife. Yes, Ahau. I will play. How did it happen? When we arrived, Shoko, the mistress of the house, was arguing with Taruka, her servant. Sumak lay dead between them. Taruka was covered in blood. Did Shoko witness the murder? No. She came home from the market to find Taruka standing over Sumak. Has Taruka confessed? No, he pleads innocence. But you're here now, Ahau. Few can lie under the scrutiny of the gods. Hmm. When he confesses, speak with the investigator. He's up near the body. Oh, Ahau, please show mercy. I swear I didn't kill my master. Be calm, Taruka. Tell me what happened. I came in from working the fields. I heard a loud noise, like a gate slamming shut. I ran and found Sumak covered in blood. He'd been stabbed. I... I tried to stop the bleeding, but he was already gone. That's why your hands are bloody. Ahau, please believe me. I'll return if I have any more questions. As I told you, Taruka, the servant, was found with blood on his hands. I'm sure you will find something that proves I'm innocent. Greetings, Ahau. What do you have? Sumak was stabbed in the neck many times with something pointy and very sharp. Like an arrow or a knife? Whatever it was, it's gone now. We've searched the entire room. Then the murderer took the weapon with them. May I have a look at the body? Of course. May the gods grant you the wisdom to see what I can. <sighs> For a stab wound, there's not much blood. Looks like the body was moved. Hello? Shoko? Yes, Ahau. I know this is difficult, but I need you to tell me what happened. I was at the market with... Oh, poor Sumak. Take your time. Start from the beginning. You are at the market? Yes, with Agna. And I was going to make bokchuk. It's... It was my husband's favorite. Agna? One of my servants. What happened when you came home? I found Taruka in the kitchen. Standing over Sumak, his hands covered in my husband's blood. I yelled and the guards arrived. Was he holding a weapon? No. Did you hear a loud slam as you arrived? Uh, uh no, of course not. What about Akna? What about her? She was with me. She accompanied me to the market and back. Where is she now? Recovering in her room. She's had quite a shock. I'll go talk to her. But... Of course, as you wish, Ahau. This will never be clean. I must. Hello, Akna. Oh, Ahau. Forgive me, I thought you were the mistress. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Uh, I don't know anything. I, I never know anything. Does this gate open? The gate? No. No, no, it's broken. It has been broken for... Uh, for a long time. Akna! I'll find another way around. It was only a map. Ahau! Hello! Is it true? Sumak was murdered? Yes, I'm looking for Akna. I have questions for her. The servant girl? <laughs> I wouldn't waste any time on her. She doesn't know anything. 
She can't even see what's going on right in front of her eyes every day. What do you mean? I apologize, How? It's not my place to speak. If you know something, tell me. Let's just say Shoko and Suma didn't have the most passionate of marriages. Shoko always had eyes for Ikal. Ikal? Sumak's business partner. So they were friends? They're much more than friends, I think. Thank you for the information. The pleasure is mine, Ahau. Yes, Ahau. How can I help? You said earlier you'd been working in the fields. Did you return here with your tools? No. Since the rebels attacked, the cult of Kukulkan has seized our farming tools. We must surrender them when leaving the fields. When Shoko returned, was Akna with her? No, it was only Shoko. Akna was not there. Why? Thank you, Taruka. I am innocent. Please help me, Ahau. Easy enough to see what happened. The servant killed his master. What is it, Ahau? Where was Akna when you found your husband? What? She was with me? Turuka says she wasn't. And you take the word of a servant over mine? I only want the truth. Forgive me, Ahau. I, I have no idea what Taruka meant by that. Akna was close by. She, she must have gone back to her quarters. When she is nervous, she cleans. Yes, Ahau? Did anyone see Shoko at the market at the time when Sumak was killed? She was with Agna, her servant. Why? Taruka says he heard a gate slam when he arrived. That's what drew him to discover the body. Soon after, Shoko arrived. That's correct. So where's the murder weapon? We searched everywhere. It's not in the house. <sighs> We're missing something. I'll speak with Agna, see what she knows. As you wish, Ahau. Riverbanks.
I must have arrived at the right time. It looks like the cultists were just here. honoring the sun. Four mirrors, each with a different marking. They're numbered. This is mirror one. I'll need to go through the central pavilion to reach the altar. Last long if I fall in the water. mirrors, each with a different marking. They're numbered mirror three. Need to create a path to mirror two.
Must be mirror four. I can get to the altar now. Full up. Can't carry any more. <laughs> the grab all full up. Can't carry any more. More blood. Someone tried to clean this. This must be where Sumac was killed. <laughs> this must be the knife used in the murder. Put it back. You must. The mistress said if anyone saw it, she would get in trouble. Why would she get in trouble? Please, Ahau, don't make me. If anything happened to the mistress... You need to tell me everything. The mistress didn't come to the market with me. When I got back to my room, the gate was broken and there was blood everywhere. As the mistress called for the guards, she gave me the knife to hide. I'm so sorry. Thank you for your honesty, Agna. Please. Please forgive me, Ahau. Please. Shoko will be brought to justice. Please. I just want this terrible day to be over and justice done. The body must hold the answers we are seeking. <laughs> Pakal, Turuka is innocent. Sumak was killed by his wife, Shoko. I found the knife she used. Arrest her! No! Shoko wasn't at the market. 
She waited until Taruka and Akno were away, then she stabbed Sumak in the neck several times. That's a lie! Sumak fell in the passage back there. Shoko moved his body where Taruka would easily find him. You're lying! Then she slammed the inner gate shut to attract Taruka's attention. She gave Akna the knife and told her to hide it. Then she confronted Taruka and blamed him for the murder. Silence! You will both be dealt with. Please, accept this as a token of our gratitude. Taruka, you're free to go. Thank you, Ahau. Sometimes there is justice. Sometimes. Be so rough on yourself. You'll live to fight another day. We didn't fight. We gave up when we were surrounded. Marched off to die without a single drop of blood on the ground. Mother, father, soon we will be reunited. Am I in the afterlife? Are you a spirit? No, I'm very much alive, as are you. <laughs> a mortal and an immortal. There, you're free to go. Yes, I have been liberated. your time. I'll never tell you anything. I'm not here to interrogate you. I'm here to free you. Bribery? Life as a traitor would be worse than death. I'm sure it would, but I'm a friend. Thank you, friend. You're welcome. You and your friends are safe. No. The cult was expecting us. A spy has infiltrated the rebellion. I freed your friends, and there's more good news. Kolkwi is alive. He was in the lead when the others were surrounded. He shouted a warning and ran away. That's excellent. There is one concern. You may have a traitor in the rebellion. I know we do. I learned who he was while you were gone, and I'm going to personally see he gets what he deserves. All right. Here, take this as a thank you. I appreciate all your help. If you're right about Kolkwi, he would have gone to the mountain safe house. Can you go find him, please? Let him know we have retreated to Skull Cave. I'll find him. All full up. Can't carry any more. Kolki! Kolki! Kolki came while you were freeing the others. We didn't know he was a Jaguar warrior. He offered me payment. How could I refuse? You should have, Boma. Kukul Khan hates outsiders and traitors. No! <laughs> Death to the one who defies Kukul Khan! There! The outsider Kukul Khan sent us for! Get her! Get her! Shimbal Nakech! Kliik Sabaeh! Kliik Sabaeh! Kliik Sabaeh! Kliik 
Chaite Chotzil il Kukulkan. Full up. Can't carry any more. Matuvete la taquica bach tak tu pican el cabo. El chantelo ya buni pujani. El tialón. Dailito po leche. Tu men weyan sin wete. I can see him. Even. Are you okay? No. Pisco the dead took my dice, and no one believes me. But he took them. A dead man took your dice. Are you sure you didn't lose them? Ugh. You're as bad as the rest of them. I'm sorry. You're right. I'll tell you what. I'll pay very close attention, and if I see Pisco the dead, I'll ask for your dice back. Really? You believe me? It wouldn't be the first time the dead seemed to speak to me. Are you Pisco the dead? You can see me? At last, Pisco is seen. Are you also dead, Ishiki? No. So you are Pisco the dead? I am Pisco, servant of the gods. I'm Lara. Lara. Nice name, Lara. You are not dead. Neither are you. Oh, but I am. As a child, I was to be sacrificed. I was brought to the mountain. The ritual was completed, but... But you survived. Only my body. 
I am dead to all my friends and family. I live by the offerings that are left for me. I met a boy who says Pisco stole his dice. Taki? He's the son of a very arrogant noble. He insisted we play a game. He lost. I don't have many things, but I won those dice fair and square. If you want, I'll play you for them. Do you want to play a game? What's the game? Talk to five people who have been cast out. Hear their wisdom and tell me why Taki lost, and I'll give you the dice. I can do that. Hello. Hello, Ishiki. It's rare to see outsiders in the city. Pisco sent me to speak with you. Ah, Pisco. I like him. You've seen other outsiders? Only one. He was handsome, gentle, and kind. We were in love. But our love is forbidden. Outlawed by the cult of Kulkulkan. That's awful. I'm sorry. I was sentenced to death, tied to the cliffs and left to die. On the third day, I welcomed death. That's when he found me, the outsider. He freed me and treated my wounds. Who was he? I don't know his name. It's been many years, but I still hope to see him again. I often return to the cliffs near the condor nests and collect their feathers. They remind me of him. That's a remarkable story. Thank you for trusting me with it. Thank you for listening, Ishiki. They say I'm a liar. Hello? Pisco sent me. Ah, did he? Did you say you were cast out for lying? No, Ishiki. I was cast out for telling the truth. That was my mistake. What happened? Should I say I've never seen an outsider? If no one believes the truth, never happened. Well, what outsiders? They dress in black and have strange weapons. They hide gold. I told the cult about the gold and the outsiders. They cast me out for lying. Lying? The gold was for them. One day, the cult will be exposed for its hypocrisy. So what do you do now? I lost everything, Ishiki. My position, power, reputation. But it took me losing all that to finally see I had no purpose, no calling. And you found one? Yes. I serve the future by protecting the past. Queen Unuratu's line are the rightful rulers of Paititi, not the cult of Kukulkan. Everything I see, everything I hear, everything I know, now helps the rebellion. A worthy cause. I send people to steal the gold shipments the outsiders deliver from time to time. They never change the drop-off point. Sounds like you're making a difference in a lot of people's lives. Thank you for sharing. It was nice talking with you. You too, Ishiki. Hello. Are you one of the outcasts? Yes, Ishiki. I'm Chaska. I'm Lara. Pisco sent me. Pisco the dead? Send you to me? Did you lose a game of Patoli? No. A boy Taki lost his dice. I'm trying to win them back for him. Pisco wanted me to talk to all those who've been cast out before he gives them back to me. I'm surprised he didn't try to play you for them. He is. Ah, well, all I can tell you is this. Like Pisco, I was cast out. I lost my job and my position. But not because of an accident, because of something I did, and would do again. What happened? Do you have any children? No. Neither do I. I did not receive the blessing of Ishel. But for my mistress, I was the midwife for her three children. I loved them like they were my own, until I lost my position. What did you do? I'm a thief, Lara. What did you steal? A jade necklace. Why? The youngest, Kiara, she saw the necklace while visiting a friend. She took it. They were coming for her. They would have cast her out. She was an only child. 
I said I took it. My mistress took the necklace from me and threw it on the floor, breaking it, and cast me out instead. I'm so sorry. Don't be sad for me. I would do it again. Kiara's learned her lesson, and she has a good life. As for me, I serve Ishel now through my weaving, the way my mother taught me. And my Kiara comes to visit me sometimes. Thank you for sharing that, Chaska. Kiara was lucky to have you. Be well, Ishiki. My capybara. Hello. Are you an outcast? Yes, Ishiki. Hello. I heard you talking about a white capybara. Oh, not just one. There are many of them. Pisco sent me to speak to all those who are cast out. You're a hunter. I am now. I was once a farmer, but that wasn't the life for me. I felt trapped. Forced to live up to the duties and expectations brought down by my family. I finally refused and went my own way. And a white capybara was responsible. No, Ishiki. I heard of them. One night they assaulted my field, trampled everything, but I did nothing to stop them. I just watched. They gave me an idea. They heard of this capybara all white. What if I could hunt them? What if I could finally get away from the fields? So you did it? Best decision I ever made. My father disowned me, gave the farm to my sister, but that's fine with me. I'm a hunter now. They call me Paimo the White. <laughs> Thank you for the entertaining story, Paimo. Thank you, Ishiki. Hello. Hello. You're Lara, aren't you? Uh... Pisco sent you. He did. I'm Moreika. <laughs> that was the second time I heard your name today, Lara. The cultists are talking about you. You're the one who started the cleansing. The one who found the key of Shakshel. I am. Oh, don't feel bad, child. The cleansing was long overdue. It must be decided. Do we continue or begin again? That's not an easy decision. Did you hear that, Rimac? Deciding the fate of the world is not easy. <laughs> I like this one. You're right, Lara. It isn't. And if the cult of Kukulkan decides, they will enslave us all and call it protection. Won't they, Rimac? <laughs> he doesn't talk much. The cult is acting out of fear. Fear of what? Fear of the outside. Fear of change. But the same threats that are outside are in all of us. Fear is the enemy, not change. Change is the only constant. But look at me rambling on, Dreamac. The lady must want to buy something to help in her search. Thank you. Enjoy it. Hmm, good deal. Good luck, Lara. Pisco? You've already spoken to them, haven't you? I have. But you still don't see it. They all had hope. You need to do better than that if you want to win the game, Lara. Hope is one thing, but all those who have been cast out have thrived in their new lives despite their circumstances. Even you, Pisco. Well, I am the best Padoli player Paititi has ever known. <laughs> Not bad for a dead man. <laughs> Not bad at all. So again, what did you learn? I learned that sacrifice can make your life better. That you shouldn't be constrained by the legacy of your family. You can find your own path. Love is stronger than death, and you need to believe in something greater than yourself. 
But ultimately, you can't control everything. It's what you make of your situation that defines you. Well said, Lara. You're sure you're not dead? <laughs> Ducky thinks he lost his dice because he was unlucky. But it's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. I see that now. What did you think of Moreka, the outcast? She was expecting me. She seemed to know quite a bit about me. Ah, she knows a lot about everything, Ishiki. She has the most wondrous items in her shop. Artifacts known only to the gods. I saw. You were lucky you found her. She often travels outside of Paititi, gathering inventory. She seemed the most optimistic. Of course she is. We have a saying in Paititi. We all create destiny. We don't choose our circumstances, only our actions. A lesson my friend Taki needs to learn. Well played. Thank you, Pisco. I'll bring the dice back to Taki. found your dice, Taki. Oh, thank you. Didn't you say Pisco stole your dice? Everyone knows Pisco steals. According to him, you wanted to play a game and you lost. He wouldn't let me play again. Just one more roll and I would have won. Pisco wanted you to know. It's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. Now that I have my dice back, I can practice more. Thanks again, Ishiki. Thanks again, Ishiki. I'm happy to have my dice back. <laughs>